Hi, Mama Dege. Sorry, I didn't mean to snoop. I'm just looking for old rubbish. What is your trash? Huh? Trash, you know. Garbage, rubbish, stuff you're finished with and things you don't need. So you throw them away. Like bottles and old pens. Baraka! And... But here in the forest, we really try to reduce how much stuff we consume and only take what we really need and are going to use. Whoa! You really got the most out of those pencils. And that paper, you've written on every inch of it. What about plastic bags? Take away containers, bottles. You must have bottles. Otherwise, how would you get, I don't know, juice? <gasps> Why would I need a bottle of juice? I just squeeze it straight from the fruit. Instant and fresh. I don't understand why you humans love containers that you can just use once and then throw away. Okay, okay. Well, thanks for these bits, Mama Dege. Reduce, reduce, reduce. La, 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 la. Hi there, Manny. You look like you are looking for something. I am. I'm looking for garbage. Hmm? You know, rubbish, trash, waste. Yes, yes. I know what garbage is. But as I like to say, waste not, want not. I find ways to reuse almost everything. So what most people call garbage, I call resources. See these planters? Can you tell what they used to be? Oh, they were those big water bottles and glass bottles and those little ones. Are they cans? Exactly. Others call it trash, I call it treasure. And I love finding new ways to reuse things. I can see that. You reuse the box for the bird feeder. And you reuse newspaper to cushion your eggs. Aha! Uh -huh. I think I see a garbage basket. Just two bottles. But you should have more bottles than this. My mom says you buy juice from her at the market almost every day. That's like... 365 bottles a year. They are reusable and I bring them with me to buy juice from your mother or pick up some of Bibi Kibena's specialty. Why the two colors? Reds for hot drinks and blues for cold. Otherwise I get confused and burn my tongue. <laughs> and that basket they are in, well, it's what I take to the market or the store when I'm shopping. The jars are for the rice and beans and things like that. That's a great idea. We always end up with so many bags and bottles and packages and then we just throw them away. But wait, you can't reuse everything, Zekigo. What about the peels from your bananas? Or even the peels from your onions? They'd rot. Hmm, onion peel soup is one of my favorites. And my banana peel bread isn't that bad either. <laughs> Don't judge it till you have tasted it. But to answer your question, I actually can reuse those things. Just not in the way you are thinking. I do it by making compost. What's that? Compost. It's like a natural fertilizer for the soil. All those banana peels, the onion peels, and even vegetables that rotted, they contain really important nutrients like carbon and nitrogen that other plants need to grow. In the forest, when plants die, or animals eat fruits and leave bits behind, it just breaks down, adds nutrients back into the soil. My compost is doing the same thing. I add dry leaves, fruit peels, vegetable scraps, eggshells, and then with a bit of time, care and heat, voila, it's transformed into this beautiful rich compost. This is so cool, Mze Kigo. But I'm supposed to be finding things that we can use to make a gift for Tiny Tambo. Well, why didn't you say so? That is reuse. I've got plenty of things I've been saving to reuse that I can give to you to reuse for me. Did you like this video and want to watch more? Yay! Subscribe to get exclusive access to premium content and more. 
only in the Bongo Playroom. Free for download today. The only place you can watch, sing, read, play, and learn with all your favorite Obongo characters. What are you waiting for? Available in English, Kiswahili, French, Hausa, and more.